Well, hello. Maybe we can't talk about him, but we can talk about me. My name is Juan. Hi. Hola, como están? I uh, was a teacher with Data ABC, which, similar to this, taught on camera. I taught from home to Chinese children who lived in China. But unfortunately, that company did have to close down last year. So I'm happy to have this opportunity with Craving English. So thank you to Senorita Andrea Castro. So uh, my favorite part of being a teacher is just the connections you make with these different students, um, watching them grow, watching them finally, you know, open up and then they can tell you, you know, hey, this is my pet turtle and this is my room and that's my bed. Even if it's just a few words, you know, teacher, look, bed, teacher, look, my bird. That's so much fun to sit there and interact with them. And they're using the English they're learning to tell you a little bit about their life and what they're interested in. And they're so excited. Uh, what is challenging about uh, being a teacher? It's just uh, every every child's different. Every child has their own struggles. Uh, some students come and they're exhausted from just being at school and doing chores. And now they have to learn English. And then sometimes they're just not that motivated. And you're trying to motivate that kid and, and, and encourage him and, you know, for me, where there were 25 minute classes, there's only so much we can do. There's only so much we can do, and that's just really tough. But you don't give up. So, I like this song. What do you think about learning new language, man? It was so difficult. I was learning about new language. Like, I was learning Mandarin as I was teaching these children. And what's so hard is the new rules. You know, my example is. You're used to building a tent. You know how to build a tent. And now you're learning how to build a log cabin. Different materials. Some things are the same, but it's all different. That's the same thing. Shelter, shelter. So with learning a new language, you can communicate, but it's a whole new set of pronunciation, sentence structure, and it can get very challenging. So break it down little by little, simple, simple. And that's the most challenging part, as someone who speaks both Spanish and English. Can you tell us about time? So the biggest mistake I made up with a student, I wasn't wearing these when I was reading off their test. And unfortunately, we made several errors. My fault. So I have them here, nearby. And uh, so when the kid is so nervous, it, it's it's tough to break my shell, but this is what I used to do. Sometimes I would hide. Like if they were hiding, I would hide. And then when they poke out, I would hide. And then when they would hide, I would. And then we do that. And you watch the child just start laughing. Sometimes drawing them a picture, uh, like Mickey Mouse. I love to draw. So a simple picture of Mickey Mouse. The kid goes, Mickey Mouse. Um, so. That's what we do with that. And then sometimes you just encourage the parent. It's okay. It's okay. Kids nervous. It's not a big deal. They'll get over that. <laughs> Once they get to know me, they'll get over that. So, correcting errors. It's okay if you're dancing. <laughs> correcting errors. Just point. I don't even call out as an error. Oh, oh, you messed up now. Just bottle. Try again. Bottle. Good, good, good. Bottle. Bottle. Good. Three to five times. If the kid is really struggling with that word or that sentence, hey, good job. Good job trying. Okay, muy bien. Muy bien, muy bien. Vamos a seguir. Let's keep going. And then we continue on, and maybe we'll, we'll, we'll go back to that word again. We'll try again. You know, But we don't want to frustrate the child where... They lose the the motivation to continue on with the lesson. Is company culture company culture is very important to me. Maybe the rules are we don't talk about Bruno, but either way, the company culture is the lines on the road that lay down the standards, and we want to know what to expect. I read on the website. We want this to be fun. Of course, we want the child to have fun while they're learning. Not, we can teach the lesson, but can we do it fun? Now we know the expectation. And what I like to know about craving English is 
do you have your own system, your own program that we would have to log into? Or would we be using Zoom, for instance? You know, uh, I'm used to having a dry erase board on the, on the computer. We can draw on, write on, look at the curriculum together. So I was trying to find a sample on the website. I didn't see anything. Maybe I missed it. But thank you for your time. That's me. That's one. And I hope you all have a great day.